Bonjour tout le monde qui a parlé créole. Nom c'est Roberto. Comment est-ce que vous êtes là? Police still investigating the scene of a deadly shooting in Northwest Jacksonville. As shots ring out, four people are hurt and this man gunned down in broad daylight. This morning, police are looking for these teens right here. They're captured on surveillance video firing guns at a south side apartment complex. See those shots being fired? So I live over on the north side of Jacksonville. And if you live in Jacksonville, you know that's not one of the best sides of town. Fortunately, I don't live in the worst part of the north side. I do live in a better place. So imagine playing basketball at a local park and seeing somebody you recognize, but you don't recognize. Now imagine that person that you recognize was one of your best friends from elementary school, just now hung up on drugs. That's the type of thing that I see on a regular. A lot of the friends that I used to be cool with, a lot of people that I grew up with are either in trouble with the law or hung out on drugs. I was doing, selling some type of drug, affiliated with some type of drug. So I'm even in some gangs. Uh, I know that I have one friend. <coughs> I know I have one friend. He's facing about 40 years right now, I believe, for the murder of a college professor. Um, and when I heard about that, that, that shook me, you know, like, that's a dude I used to play red hot with over in elementary, you know? The type of guy that you'd hoop with all the time. You know, us little kids that we call Jits, we used to roast, rank all the time. You know, that's one of your boys that you used to be cool with. But you know, time passes, people change. And God's changed my life in a number of ways. I think the biggest way that he's changed it is in the way that I hear, not only hear, but the way that I see the world. You know, certain things that I just pass by, whether it's with my eyes or my ears, suddenly become red dots, you know? Certain lyrics that I used to listen to. And really, he just opened my mind to a whole bunch of different avenues, the way that I should think. See, what my dad used to tell me is, um, when we make decisions, we look all around us. We look left, right, down, but we never look up. And he changed my vision from left to right to down to looking up. Time passing, lives flashing, bullets scattered. The streets are empty now. Kids sheltered, hearts broken, outspoken. Nothing to say but wow. Moms crying, kids dying. The world is changing, can someone explain to me how a cop can kill an innocent man and walk away with his chin all high and proud? So hear me out. My heart's bleeding like it was shot with a 12 gauge shotty. Jesus' followers in the trenches, voices crying out loudly. Bleeding tears for the world like a child crying for his mommy. I'm in a world full of zombies, eyes open but walking in the dead body. Can someone explain to me how? See pastors preaching to the quiet light, give it up to the Lord. But do you know the death that you speak is sharper than the double-edged sword? Fake Christians, hypocrites, and Satan are all buddy-buddy. The day will come when we all bow down to the one and only Jesus. Stop running, forget waiting. I'm not a preacher, but this is my take. Time waits for no man, so why the heck should I wait? I could probably run this town if I like, but I'm straight. Take a walk in my shoes if you think you know me just for one day. Ah! I'm so angry. I'm so angry that you won't believe what you can do. An angel.